Today, I toured Runbeck Election Services, the place where your mail-in ballot is probably produced. We saw the whole process that turns a roll of paper into the ballot in your mailbox. VP of Operations Brian Danderand gave us the tour, and he broke down all the basic materials needed for the process. We started a little over a year ago in procuring the paper that we're going to be required for this upcoming election cycle. We purchased about 1.7 million pounds of paper, which will accommodate all the ballots we need to print. We'll buy inks in 55-gallon drums, uh, approximately 200 uh, liters per barrel. Uh, each barrel will yield about 1.1 million ballots. After those materials arrive, complex machinery gets involved. What this machine does, it just unwinds the roll of paper, brings it down through here, it prints side one, drops it in through a heater real quick to cure the ink onto the paper, flips it over and prints the back side, drops it again through the top part of the heater to secure the ink on the paper, and then sends it on down to the finishing unit. All this work is based off orders from counties around the country. And as one of the largest mail-in ballot printers, Runbeck gets a lot of them. How many places does Runbeck produce ballots for? Uh, currently, we touch about 38% of the voting population across America. We currently are working in 23 states, um, 76 counties. As you can see up here, we have flags that are sent to us by the states and or the counties that we do work for. Danderand explains each county has different versions of their ballot. If you look here at the ballot edges, you see a very, very faint gray line that's on the corner of the ballot. That's telling our operator that they are precisely cutting the ballot within the specifications required by the tabulation company. One of the final steps is verifying that everything is correct and they're sending your ballot to the right place. We'll come over here, we'll run them through this machine to do some verification processes as well to verify that we are accounting for every voter inside that county and we are also checking the thickness of the packet to verify that we have all the contents that are required for that packet. Ballots are mailed out on October 12th and the last day to mail back your ballot is November 1st. Luke Forstner, KTAR News.